All right, this is a little tutorial on how to scrape ads from the Facebook ad library. So Facebook ad library opened up a few years ago, I think. So I don't scrape all the ads. I'm sure that's not very difficult to do. But yeah, it, and you'd want to scrape them. I mean, yeah, for whatever purpose, save them, whatever. So if you click here and get the link, Let's say we want to get this ad here. So let's see how they are getting the data. You're going to inspect that. And we're hoping for a fetch request that will give us that data. So in order to find it, then let's search for unique second hand to see how they're getting that data. So we're gonna come down here, the network tab, click on something, exit out, find unique second hand. So it looks like, okay, they are loading it. And a little hint is that this is server rendered. Looks like it's either next JS or whatever their own proprietary uh, server rendered framework is because if you come here, you can sometimes see if there's uh, yeah, next data on the window. If there is, they're using Next.js. But these guys are using React, but it doesn't look like they are. But they're also server rendering it. And how you know they're server rendering it is they're putting stuff, they're putting the data in the script tag. So if we try to find that in the script tag, unique second hand, we'll go yeah, to the actual response search. Yeah, so the the body right here, like, okay, that looks exactly like what we want because it's JSON. The add creative ID, like that looks exactly like what we want. So we'll just come over here, command left. And yeah, so it's all in a script tab. It's, it's JavaScript. So yeah, literally they have this function here. They have all this menagerie that you have to uh, like slice and dice to get at. But yeah, that's exactly what we want. That'll give us all the data. So yeah, we don't want to scrape this with Puppeteer or Selenium or something like that. If it's already in JSON here, we just have to figure out how to extract it. And it doesn't look like it's even displayed. Yeah, in the HTML itself, it's just here in the script tag, which is perfect for us. It's usually a lot easier to get the data from the script tag because you just have to JSON to parse it. So in order to do that, then this is the request right here. So you just copy as node fetch. And then I already do have most of it done or all of it done. But to get the HTML, then we just paste it in there, I believe, at the library active status. Yeah, but basically it can be all boiled down to, I think the ad ID is in there somewhere. Yeah, ID right there. But yeah, it can all be boiled down to this uh, simple URL instead of all of that other stuff. And because the copy ad link, like that's, that's what it gives you is this URL up here. And then it Facebook adds all of this other crazy stuff in the URL, the query parameters. So anyway, you just paste that as a node fetch and then yeah, await res.txt to get the actual text because this is the HTML. Then we get that HTML, but we need to parse it to find. So yeah, what will be returned is obviously like all of this HTML, but we need to find this, this like require lazy time stamp, time slice, whatever, whatever. And unfortunately, we need to get rid of all that to get to the actual JSON, which is gonna start like right here, it looks like, like on-demand references. Yeah, so you just have to figure out where that starts. And then, yeah, unfortunately, you have to slice uh, the rest of this off. And yeah, so that's what I do with get add data. So I use Cheerio to parse the HTML. So I find like all of the script tags and then if the script tags, like if the children 
data, whatever, includes cards, then I know that, or I think I have the correct script tag, and then I have to parse, like I, I do this pretty janky, but I find the index of constructor, and then like the constructor curly, and then this non-blocking preloaders index, and then, uh, yeah, I think I just loop over the start and the end index. Yeah, because element JS substring constructor curly and index plus one and then parse that out. So yeah, I have to do a bunch of like nasty things to eventually get it. But what's nice is the final product. Is this. So you have like all of the data that you could ever ask for. The add ID, end date when it's running is active, snapshot, uh, add creative ID cards. This gives you a bunch of great data. And we probably wouldn't have even had access to that if it wasn't for this JSON, if we just tried to go straight through the HTML. So they have the CTA caption. Creation time, page ID, a page name, URL, Instagram URL, Instagram handle, which is unfortunately nothing right now. Spend, start date. Yeah. So that is how you scrape an ad from the Facebook ad library. So you're going to yeah, get the HTML from here and then parse that JSON from the script tag. So anyway, I hope that is helpful.